Welcome to another Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we're focused on human capital analytics. The report here goes in depth into employee data that we have extracted from a large enterprise which has been around for quite some time. So it's um, very rich in its detail but also goes back for 30 odd years. We focused mainly on the, the latest years as they've been the years of uh, significant growth. Uh, but as you'll see, there is a significant amount of calculations and even simulations uh, within the data model, uh, which allow you to find some, some quite cool insights um, that someone in an HR department or, or, or management would want to know about their employees. So the report's broken up into four different pages. The first page we have a summary, which allows you to, to really dive into all the key metrics that you might want to know about your uh, employees in terms of uh, where they're located, what function they're in, what the growth has been. And as you can see here, this is a, this is a firm that has, has grown substantially over, over the last few years, not only in personnel, but in terms of uh, salary costs. Then we have uh, the average salary between male and female. We do a bit more analysis um, around gender and ethnicity later on, uh, but here is just a snapshot. Then we have a similar piece of analysis for ethnic group and then total hires uh, by ethnic group. So these are some, some key ratios or metrics that uh, are, 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 are prevalent in a lot of um, organizations at the moment. But what we can do is we can dynamically filter on uh, any of these key slices and, and get down into the exact insight that we require. If we wanted to focus on, say, employees under 30 and how, how they're tracking versus uh, over 50, salary workers based in Auckland, you know, the ability to get down into you know the answer that you need is uh, significantly um, powerful uh, within within this Power BI uh, reporting model. Next we come to business units and cost centers. So here we are, we can uh, drill down into a particular area of the business or or, or you could have subsidiaries here uh, if that's how your business was structured. But say for instance you want to filter into um, Auckland which would likely in New Zealand have the most employees as that's where the bulk of the population is based. Uh, we can then click into full-time workers and here we can see total salary costs and average salary costs and it's broken into uh, to, sliced into two different uh, metrics or or filters in that particular chart. Next we go to gender and ethnicity. Here we're really trying to understand uh, the makeup of our employees uh, where uh, they what's their ethnicity and are they uh, male or, or, or female so there's a lot of focus around having certain ratios within organizations um, and making sure that uh, firm-wide the human resources team is on top of this and um, almost a real-time basis as there's a lot of moving parts within an organization and their employees uh, is, is quite important so uh, this report in particular enables that, so you get a, a very good overview of what's going on throughout the entire organization. If you were able to just hit the data, hit your database, your, which tells all your employee data, and then had all your key ratios on these particular items all set up automatically. What we've got here is a bit of analysis around uh, average rating or average employee rating. So at end of year reviews, most employees will get a rating. And so we've tried to understand on average for each ethnic group, uh, what was the rating and versus the, the salary that they were able to obtain. With this type of analysis, I guess you could you could see if there was some sort of bias um, in reviews and, and, and manage where appropriate. We also have a good breakdown of female and male metrics. So um, we have average salary, which is quite a talking point at the moment. 
and as you see here it's all dynamic and you can click through and and see with which ethnic group um, these key when you select an ethnic group you can see what key metrics change um, for that particular group now this last part is something quite quite cool so a technique here I've used is uh, a quite handy DAX DAX pattern or, or or DAX scenario that can be used across various different um, scenarios within a business. But in this case, I've mocked up a quite common scenario that an enterprise would find itself in, especially around its human capital. So, what happens if a, if a company needs to downsize or upsize their workforce? Then very quickly they need to understand well, what's the additional uh, cost personnel cost or reduction if you're having to downsize the organization you also will want to make sure that you're keeping your ratios intact throughout the organization also um, you may want to you want to understand how many people within each uh, division region or contract type have to be included or reduced to maintain your ratios throughout the organization. So what you can do here is uh, this percent change is percent change in employees required. So why don't I mock up a downsizing? So say a business was in trouble and they needed to work out what would be the additional cost of downsizing the organization's employees by 20%. So we can click here and we can see that Current total costs are 192 million, and the the current total hires is 2007. But if we reduce that by 20%, the salary change is going to go reduced by 62 million, headcount reduced by 574 million, and this will be our new hires. But also here is a calculation in terms of you may need to uh, pay out redundancy, so you can automatically figure out how much you would have to pay out to your employees that um, you're making redundant, um, and that's that's a sort of that would be a, a key metric that management or uh, a CEO would want to know if they were they were planning um, this type of thing. The, the, if the reverse was true and we were um, increasing, this payout would be zero, obviously. So there's a um, you know, a reasonable calculation going on on in behind the scenes to um, to make that work to give you a realistic idea of um, what changes would occur if you were to um, have to upsize the organization if it's going well or, or downside of it if it wasn't. Okay, thank you very much.